what's up aquarius how you doing welcome back to the channel i hope all is well this week um the readings are gonna be kind of short i burnt my hand and i can't do a lot of shuffling all right so um let's get into it what does aquarius placements need to know right now please what does aquarius placements need to know right now huh Ooh-wee. I like this. I like this. Okay, with the first three cards that came out, we got the back of the emperor, the seven of pentacles, and the back of the king of cups. You've taught someone a lesson by going through the motions yourself. And I, it feels like you're, you're realizing how successful something could be. How, how successful or, or, or powerful you can be when you apply yourself. But it was some type of loss that you took prior to discovering this about yourself. And it taught you how to be more emotionally intelligent. How to like, how to be able to tell who to reveal your soft side to. Not to say that you're mean to people that you're not revealing your soft side to, but you have more of a, a better balance now to protect yourself more. You could have been over accommodating too nice to someone and got hurt that way or taken advantage of and, and it resulted into you making a bad investment. And you've learned from that. You've learned from that. Okay. Somebody may be traveling to Florida or a place where there's a lot of dolphins, SeaWorld, Disneyland, but I'm getting a, a, a heavy emphasis on dolphins, big bodies of water, waterfalls. Hmm. I'm getting this random message. One of your, if you, if you're a parent that has like older children, children that of adult age. They may, one of them may elope. And I'm um, sorry, but it may piss you off. I'm just telling you. Uh, that's what I'm getting. I got Taurus, Aries, Virgo, and Scorpio here. I'm hearing Pisces. Okay. Okay, what else does Aquarius placements need to know? Huh, wow. Uh, okay, uh, are you in a relationship or close, very close to someone that has like a criminal record or a background with the legalities? Not like they worked for the government, but, you know, they've been locked up before or something like that. They have citations and things like that. You got the Seven of Swords, the Hangman, the Five of Pentacles, and the Back of the Queen of Swords. It looks like somebody may be going to jail for some type of fraud or something involving money. And they have to uh, give it back. And I don't know why I'm thinking this, but it literally could be this. And oh my goodness, if it is. But you know, um, what was just viral on TikTok and people on YouTube, especially TikTok, are like, chastising people for doing this committing fraud on themselves saying that it's a glitch with chase it could be something like that or whatever it is this person is getting caught whether it's you or someone else they're getting caught they're gonna lose the money have to pay some type of restitution fee or, or some type of money back thinking that they were being sneaky with the seven of swords, but they didn't look at something the right way with the hangman and they sacrificed their money and, or their freedom. And whoever, who's, who's ever, um, representing them or whoever the judge is, whatever the judgment is, it's going to be rather harsh because it's giving me that three strikes you're out type of thing. Whoever this is, that's given a judgment is not going to be, they're not, you see what I'm saying? They're not going to be nice about this. They're not going to be nice about this.
We got Aquarius here, Pisces, Taurus, and Libra. All right, let me get another general spread with the Kipper deck. Message, mature woman in reverse, and privileged lady in reverse. Interesting. Are you in a third party with someone? They're about to take a loss. Like, it could be a situation here, Aquarius, where there's a third party here, whether you know it or not. Um, someone has their ace in the hole with one relationship. And they have the other relationship with the party guy or the party girl that when the chips are up, that's who they stunt with and flex with wherever they be at. But they know how to find their ace in the hole, which is the stable one, the mature one, the grounded one when they need them. Someone is leaving the fun guy or the fun girl to come back to the grounded one for stability or some type of safety and it's going to piss off the party guy or the party girl this person may reach out to you with not so nice words because they're jealous they're gonna think their person or y'all person or something like that is with you and they may not be but whatever this person says it, it may make you look at a person differently and it may help you really see them for their true colors libra virgo taurus aries and pisces yep those are the signs that i'm getting because someone's gonna tell you the truth out of hurt and their delivery is going to be so messed up because they're in their feelings. But it doesn't mean that they're lying. It doesn't mean that they're lying at all. All right. What's going on with Aquarius's finances? Uh, one more shuffle. Oh, that was weird. It's I guess it's just time to cut my nails. <laughs> Goodness. I messed that up big time, didn't I? <laughs> okay. You got a judgment going in your favor? After being denied or waiting on something for so long, you could be working two jobs and uh, you, you're going to figure out a really good balance. Once you master one job, you'll get in the swing of things and get like a, what do they call it? Not a system, but I guess we could use the system. You can get in the flow of things and got have a nice little pattern going on, and you'll be able to easily, like easily, gradually get into other things that's gonna bring you in more money also. But I see you clearing away some type of judgment. And once this is cleared away, you gotta be real careful with how you balance your money or if you're going to still deal with whoever this merchant is, whether it be the government or whoever, you know, make sure you keep a record of everything because they may try to find a way to catch you up again to, to get you to pay. Like this is somebody that's crooked, but you have to deal with them in some form or fashion still. I don't see you being able to get around dealing with whoever this is. So make sure you put a certain amount of money up just because because it's like you got money coming in and you just need to manage it really good have, build a safe nest put it to the side but there's something it, you know this is gonna sound so weird but i gotta tell you what i'm saying it looked like some of y'all have 
a company or some type of establishment or corporation that you're paying a huge amount of money to to pay something off and instead of being happy about it it's like they're really not that happy that you're paying it back so quick because i don't know i guess the longer you pay something out the more interest you get which is more money that they make and because you're paying it off quicker sooner than later you're putting more money into the principal than the interest so they're just getting their money back and not really being able to capitalize off the loan or whatever it is that you owe and they may try to be funny which is illegal but i see them doing it this could be something that they do all the time I see them trying to find a loophole to say, uh, well, you know, when Moses crossed the Red Sea, you know, you didn't pay this. So we're going to give you that with interest and we're going to need this back by, you know, and you need to have those receipts like, nope, how can I owe that when I got this? I got receipts for this. I got receipts for that. Make sure you don't get caught up in that. And they're also telling you to have a healthier work-life balance too. You can have someone in competition with you trying to aggravate you at work, but don't let it get don't let it get the best of you because the emperor is just not here for nothing. It's because you're somebody. If you were a nobody, they wouldn't care. You're learning how to work smarter and not harder, which is great. And I see you being less in your emotions and more logical with the Queen of Swords being here. Good ideas, implementing good ideas, good strategies to get stuff done. You should be proud. You really should be proud, Aquarius. Let me pull an oracle. Okay. You could make money off your intuition or spiritual work with Moon. You could be highly intuitive, but uh, you're being guided towards, Spirit is leading you towards different ideas and money-making moves. And uh, I did pick up you doing two things at once, gradually, you got a uh, odd jobs, night shift, part time. So I do see you juggling two different sources of income and slowly but surely building them both up at the same time. And with uh, the moon here, you're being guided intuitively. Opportunities you're being guided to so you can take advantage of. You'll have the right mindset. You'll know what to do. So that's good. Let's see. The person on your mind. They're trying to figure out a way like how they could play you and live up to your standards while still being the same old them. They want to be fake, but put on a pedestal with official person in high honor, but they're fake as hell with false person in the center. You got false person in the center. You got high honor on the left and official person on the right. So it's like they want the emperor or empress respect without actually being the emperor or the empress. They're trying to figure a way. They're trying to figure out a way how they can still get you to respect them and get accolades from being around you without actually earning them. This person feels you getting away with distant horizon here. This could be a Taurus, a Libra, a Leo, a Scorpio, a Cancer, or Sagittarius. What's the outcome of this? occupation i see you focusing on your work and you got bad health you may even try to give this person the benefit of the doubt and instantly regret it with bad health because i don't i don't know if you feel like this person can't get any worse than what they are but with bad health at the bottom of the deck as in what you don't see coming yes the hell they can yes they can and they will unfortunately anybody new coming towards aquarius No, unfortunately, I see I see old people that you're turning your back on. This could be a friend or if you you could be in a same sex relationship or not. This could be a friend or a lover. I'll just say that. I have a court card of a feminine energy and a court card of a masculine energy. I have a knight and I have a page that are both vibrating very low. And they could be from your past. But I, I see you turning your back on, on this. Yeah, the Five of Cups, the Six of Cups, the Page of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, 
the king of pentacles and the back of the empress you got the back of the king of pentacles too somebody is just a day a, a day late and a dollar short maybe several dollars and several days late you know several dollars short but they just don't have it they, they're trying to pretend like they like whoever this is they deserve an oscar they're going to put on a show. Whoever this is, they're going to put on a Oscar-nominated show. This is, I don't feel like this is anybody new. And, and, and wait, they're going to tell you how they really feel when you don't give them what they want. The Knight of Swords is here. This person is going to be angry with you. Yep. Um, I gave you the signs. Uh, from the last spread, but yeah, I'm getting the same energy. I'm getting past energy. Scorpio, Capricorn, Taurus, Libra, Aries, and yeah, Scorpio. We got Gemini here, but that's what I have for you. Give me a kiss. I love you. Hit the like button, share, and subscribe, and you have a good day. Bye.